Listen up, man. This is the most important 2K23 video you are ever going to see. I'm going to be showing you the best jump shots and how to shoot in 2K23 the easiest way possible. I know, another jump shot video, right? But y'all can't shoot, man. Every time I play with randoms, they can't shoot. That is like, that's like 90% of the community, bro. So these videos have to keep being put out. Even comp players can't shoot. I'm gonna give you the secrets. I'm gonna give you a tip right now. The most important thing, bro. Listen, current and next gen, okay? Very late. Put it, I don't care what no one says. Put it on very late and everything is going to change for you, bro, okay? I'm undeniably the greatest shooter in 2 ks I'm gonna show y'all the best jump shots for, you know, five, seven in between. 6-4 and then 6-5 between 6-10 and then 6-10 up and I'm gonna show you the best badges for all builds more tips for shooting etc and, and one more thing before we get into the jump shots man get this video to a thousand likes and I'll do a hundred dollar giveaway on my twitch for everyone who subscribes to the YouTube and likes this video this jump shot right here great jumper very easy to shoot with my boy now, firstly, I wanna show you my main jump shot. I know that I went to current gen. It works the same on both gens, right? I want to show y'all something. This is a glitch. Listen to me. This jump shot is the best jump shot overall, right? Okay, look, I have a 92 three point on this build. I wanna show y'all this, bro. 92 three point, but the wingspan is 610, right? So when I try to use that jump shot, on my build that also has a 92 three point but a 67 wingspan i can't shoot it's horrible it's very inconsistent you see this also has a 92 three point but a 67 wingspan a lot of people don't know it's way easier to shoot on bigger builds even if you're right in the same speed the same whatever your wingspan dictates how hard it is for you for you to shoot for some reason small builds with small wingspans it's harder to shoot and i figured out some tricks to fix that Okay. You have to do it or you're not going to be able to shoot, bro. And this makes no sense. It's crazy. Same release timing and everything. This is the jump shot I use for this build. Okay. Now for this build, I switched it up, right? I changed the release speed to where I make the jump shot slower, you know? One tick and I get it off the A+. Plus. This way is easier to shoot with on this 6-7 wingspan. I don't know. I don't know why the game's like this. It's broken. <laughs> Here goes another very easy jump shot to shoot with for uh, spot up builds. And you can run point with it, man. Very easy to shoot with, my boy. Test it out. Flip. Flip. Now, if you have a low three point, okay? This is a base you would like to use. I do not have a build that has a low three point. Um, you could do use different releases and actually get this release speed to A plus, okay? Um, not an A plus, but an A something for very, uh, you know, this is, this is nice for you low three point guys. Now look, I know this looks crazy, bro, but I'm telling you, I dropped like 60 with it in wreck, man, with randoms. I'm telling you, bro. It's easy to shoot with. It meets the requirement for the A+. And for some reason, the, the, these, these jumps I'm finna show y'all for little builds, and I'm gonna show you big builds, right? Bro, for some reason, it's harder to shoot on a littler build, okay? <laughs> I don't know what it is. Y'all don't have to do this, but I'm just saying, you know, test it out. See if you can get jiggy with it. But I'm telling you, bro, you can literally use this in a game and it works. What is 2K come to? Now, this one may be like the one one. Like, for some reason, it's stupid easy to shoot with this, with the A+. Plus, and it's like your fades is easier. And it's like they, they might be a little slower. But like if you get your method down it's really crazy you know it's it's then easy it's then just as easy to shoot as a big build for some reason every time i play when i run into someone that's a little build they can't shoot 
And I'm telling you this is why, bro. They have to, you have to slow your jump shot down. You have to tweak it. It can't be at the max speed. It just don't work. It's broke, bro. I don't, I don't know what's wrong with the game. It's just, it just don't work, bro. And I got y'all with a normal jump shot, man. You know, very nice, smooth, easy to hit release, my boy. And make, make sure y'all subscribe if you are new, man. Support your boy. Now, here are some big man jump shots, bro. Um, let me just show you the screenshot. This one right here, you know, 610 plus. If you have somewhat a high three, you'll be Gucci with this KD for sure. You know, the, the, this jump shots uh, I'm, I'm hearing is very good too. The David Robinson base. I'm hearing this base good too. And this Eric base is good too. Y'all let me know y'all's favorite big man base. Let me know your favorite jump shots down below. Help people out, etc. Hey, if y'all feel like laughing, man, go watch my Pro-Am video that uh, I dropped before this. If you don't laugh, I owe you a dollar. Struggling and you could do without it, don't do it. But you notice a jump shot, like, <laughs> you just notice more shots falling when you when you buy this. You know, 2K is pay to win, bro. That That's just how it is. I'm not telling y'all to do it. And also, if you get the Gatorades, bro, you know, they will help you because Gatorade is very important. The more stamina you have, the less your jump shot change, all this and all that, the easier it is to time it, have a more consistent jump shot instead of it going to straight rng and you uh guessing what jump shot is about to happen and what animation you're going to get and trying to guess this other person's animation to you it's ridiculous right but hey man also get gym rat okay um if you can't get gym rat do your drills and make sure you get three star on everything so you get a bar to your um your stamina that will help you greatly and then if you like buy two or one it'll it'll help you it'll help you get the double bar but again pay to win if you could do it out it you could do it out it man I, i'm just letting you know how it worked my boy now look if you feel you can't hit bro you can turn all of this off right that you know there there's a lag delay and um Hold on, how do I put this hole on none? You know, instead of one of these things, because they say it adds more lag delay to your to your guy. You know, it's a theory, it's not tested. But if you're struggling to shoot, you could test this out, bro. You can um like just do none. You know, you can test this out. It's up to you. I don't do it, but you could do none. You can uh you know, I use this jump shot meter. By the way, do not use jump shot meter. Only play with no meter, bro. Don't use meter, okay? Ball trail, you could put this to none. If you feel like there's just too much lag delay, test it out. See if it works for you. And also, another thing. Here's another thing people do. The shot feedback. They turn it off. I don't do this. But it's just more lag delay like taking off the game you know that's why people do stuff like this they do something like this they turn it on none you know but then you can't see people's names but it's up to you bro make sure your motion blur is off okay turn it off get your sound effects right man if it's too loud too low get it right i use very late my shot time and I have it on shots only. Um, I don't really mess with the layup thing. I make sure I have my vibration on. I like that, but it's up to y'all. Make sure you turn off your trigger effect. Too many of y'all have your trigger effect on, you old heads. I hear it through your mic, okay? I hear your, your, your controller rumbling while you're not even touching anybody. Like, bro, it's a, it's a vibrator. It's a vibrator? Vibrator, huh? Huh, nigga, you a grown man. You got your controller vibrating in your hand. Turn this off, bro. You got to turn it off in your PlayStation settings, too. So many people don't know this. You got your trigger effect on. It's going to mess up your shooting, bro. Spread the message. You know, these are my other settings overall. Um, 
I keep this on, and I keep my who to guard on. By the way, I see people they keep taking off who to guard. Stop. It does not do anything. Okay? You take it off, it's not going to pull you less. Keep it on just so you're aware because everyone else smoke like smoke. And yeah, man, here go the best badges. Hey, look, here are the best shooting badges in general, bro. Okay, I don't have my shooting max on this build, but I'm going to just show y'all something. Agent 3s is the best badge for main ball handlers, okay? The best badge, okay? Bar none. It's not just fading. It's not just pull-ups, bro. It's stopping a uh, pop. It's everything. Every shot you take while like moving, rhythm shooter, it's all combined into this badge. So if you are a main ball handler, Put this shit on max, bar none, bro. Okay? Um, even catch and shoot, when you're a main ball handler, you want this, bro, because you can shoot it instantly. And like, even with the fade shot, your catch and shoot's gonna pop up and the agent threes, and then you can catch them hoes even more. Everyone is leaving everyone open, bro. Okay? Like, it, all levels bro like especially when they think you're like drained of adrenaline and all that catch and shoot it, it changes your game completely bro especially if you are bad bro uh amped you know eh, you know they they say it reduces the penalty it, it's it's cool bro um and then claymore when you spot when when you're spotting up you catch the ball and you wait and then you shoot this is more for spot ups but still, this is still a good thing for a main ball handler. You see, I got it low. And then the volume shooter, I'm going to eventually max out because, you know, it helps with every shot. But limitless range, you don't even need, bro, because of the limitless takeover. I'm going to show you, bro. Look, I can keep shooting from half court with this badge with the uh, with the damn near 7-7. Seven, seven, what, what was my three-point? Like a 76-3, bro. I can shoot from half court just with this badge on single. Like the single takeover. And you can shoot from everywhere. So you can save badge points without um, even having Limitless on. You know, it's still a good badge. It's, it works. It's, it's a great badge. But if you have like Accelerator and just Limitless, you can just hit from Limitless. So you can save badge points and be smart. I got a bunch of clips, bro, of uh, me hitting from Limitless. The dead eye, ugh, you know, it, it ain't, it ain't that, it ain't, it ain't what it used to be. Blinder, same thing. Corner, they say don't work. Some people say it do work. Green machine, they say it activate after the third shot until I hear otherwise. So it's not really as needed. Guard up. Some people say don't even work. Um, space creator, all dependent to your style and many. But yeah. Your main badges that you want as a main ball handler, Agent 3's amped, catch and shoot. And then you start to, you know, the volume shooter, then the Claymore, and then everything else is all dependent on you. Now for a spot up, bro, you want catch and shoot max, Claymore max. I don't, I, I'm not, I'm not too, I don't, I don't, I don't know about guard up, bro. For a spot up, you could do something like this, bro. Really, for a spot up, it's really like the same badges, bro. It, it really is, because they say uh, corner specialists don't work. It's really like the same badges, man, to be honest. Now, maybe, uh, I don't know about this dead eye and blinders, bro. I don't know, bro. I, I haven't been made a believer. A lot of people make a lot of tweets and stuff, but I, I, I just haven't seen it. You can shoot crabs. People think it's blinders. You can shoot crabs without blinders and it be OP like I don't think people are noticing a big difference from making it gold to uh you know I don't know bro basically between spot ups and um main ball handlers is you're just going to want to have clay more and catch and shoot more that's basically it bro to, to keep it a hundred and of course these are going to be your main shit you know the catch and shoot and the clay more but you want to be able to fade and sometimes the game makes you fade so you want to have this badge on still this will be a third badge as a spot up that you will need and um y'all yeah. be sure to follow me on twitch man link is in the description make sure y'all go to the gym eight days a week drink a gallon of water a day and click on one of these two videos but hey hey here we go again yeah. Here we go again. People talking.
talking is for when this hit the fan. Everything I'm at made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.